Total hip implant is an artificial joint designed to perform the same function as the natural hip. Total hip replacement design need to meet some requirement which, with correct choice of materials and process. There are four parts in total hip replacement which are acetabular component, liner, femoral head and femoral stem. Next is strategy of material selection. This table shows the description of all the possible material for hip implant. Poor titanium, titanium alloys, cobalt chromium alloys, tungsten alloys, magnesium alloys. First step of material selection is translating of the design requirement. It consists of function, constraint, objective and material variables. The constraint is must be a biocompatible material as strong as bone, high ductility to avoid it break easily, maximize the wear resistant, have high corrosion resistant, and has a good young modulus. For the objective is, maximize the compressive strength, minimize the density, and minimize the price. The second step is screening. For screening is, we collected the data about the material chosen from the chest. Properties that we need as example is density, Compressive strength, young modulus, wear resistant, corrosion resistant, biocompatibility, and price. Find the formula for M1 and M2. M1 is compressive strength per density, whereas M2 is price per density. In chess, we can use gradient line to find the M1 and M2 for each of the material we need. This is the graph of density versus compressive strength that we got from chest. This is density versus price graph that we got from the chest. Based on the material performance index, we have choose three best material which is cobalt chromium alloys, tungsten alloys and titanium alloys. Ranking it from 3 to 1 which is 3 good, 2 medium and 1 is poor. And as the final result, we got the cobalt chromium alloy as the highest point. Therefore, cobalt chromium alloys has been choose as the best material for hip implant. Let's achieve low tolerance, must produce 3D shape, must long lifespan. Objective, minimize cost, minimize mass. Free variable, choice of process. Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Hilman Husaini bin Hisham. I will present about documentation of shaping process. For investment casting, a technique for making small, accurate casting in refractory alloy using a mold form around a pattern of wet, then removed by melting. The selection of process investment casting because it can make the complex shape with the height accuracy. So this is the step of making heat implant by investment casting. Figure below show the basic step of investment casting. The second process is turning process. This is secondary process used for making heat implant. Turning generates internal surface of revolution by removing material from a rotating wood piece with a single trip cutting tool. Turning is used to produce rotational, typically as a symmetric part have many features such as hole, groove, treat, tapers, various diameter steps and even contrast surface. It is the most commonly used process for enlarging or finishing holes or other circular contours. Very good tolerance can be obtained by turning. Figure beside should the turning process. Next, translation of joining process. For joining process, the process select is conical taper joint. Function to join parts of fabricate hip implant. Constraint. The first is, is a primary joining process. Then able to reduce corrosion between parts. Objective and maximize flexibility. 
for free variable selection of joining process for joining process conical type junction will be used conical type junction in use to join in the femoral head with the femoral stem or to assemble the stem components figure below shows the conical type junction of the different design the last one is translation of finishing process finishing process selected is polishing function to give high grade surface of heat implant constraint it is a primary finishing process much smoother than rock surface objective maximize smoothness polishing used to produce good surface polishing is the process of creating a smooth and shiny surface by rubbing it or by applying a chemical treatment prevent contamination of instruments remove oxidation create a reflective surface or prevent corrosion the bearing surface of the femoral head and establishment needs to have a high grade of surface finish and to maintain a high adjustment stability of bearing heat implant will be used for a long time a smooth surface is a very important and one of the important features in heat implant figure below shows the example of polishing process raw material and move to melting machine move to investment casting after investment we consider is it have perfect shape or not if not then go to design back if yes go to machining process after machining we consider is it precise or not if not go to CAD software again to design if yes then go to polishing after that we go to testing and then after that the heat implant ready Effect of parameters on the performance of product. There are some parameters need to be considered in the material and process selection. What are the parameters that can affect material selection? First is weight. The weight of the material need to be considered so that appropriate weight of the product can be determined. It can provide optimal comfort and balance to the user. Then impact resistance. Hip implant have to withstand considerable stress so it can withstand the possible impact that could happen to the hip implant. Third is wear resistant. Hip implant requires high wear resistance so it can last for a long time as implant in a body. Okay, what are the parameters for process selection? First is material use. The material that will be used to make the product need to go through the suitable manufacturing process. Second is surface roughness. Every material has different surface roughness. The proper process need to be chosen in order to get the required product surface. Third is tolerance. There are no process that can shape a part exactly to a specified dimension. It is very important to choose a process that can fulfill the product requirement. Testing and quality control. Testing and quality control are needed to determine if the product is within the qualification for the final product. So, testing and quality control for heat implant are outlined in first ISO 7206 part 4 which is determination of endurance properties and performance of stem femoral component. Second, ISO 7206 part 6, determination of endurance properties of head and neck region of stem femoral components. Third, ISO 7206 part 8, endurance performance of stem femoral component with application of torsion. And lastly, ASTM F1814 Standard Guide for Evaluating Modular Hip and Knee Joint Components provides an overview of relevant tests depending on the type of hip implant design. Picture in the slide shows the example of testing of hip endoprosthesis. Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. My name is Nor Zurida. So I would like to explain about countermeasures to avoid defects. So heat implant can causes uh, 
various of complications and effects. Uh, there are three types of complications of hip implant, including early complications, abiding complications, and severe complications. So, for solution for the complications, one of the solution for complications is by operating revision surgeries, such as extended trochanteric osteotomy and cemented femoral revisions. Then, the uh, the defects that may cause from the heat implant is the dislocation of the heat implant. So the solution for these problems is develop a heat implant stem that is as like the human trabucular bone. Next, a misalignment of the implants. So the solution is making sure the surgeon they choose has some considerable experience in heat replacement. So other than that, metal can cause damage to the bone or soft tissues or as known as adverse local tissue reaction, ALTR, and adverse reaction to metal debris, ARMD. So the solution for these defects are recognize the anatomy and how the fashion's body react to the metal of hip implant before operating the surgeries. Next, all metal implants had to change to other artificial material. Third, the defects or fracture may cause may occur, may occur around or the end at the end of the prosthetic stem. So a few braces and wires can be used to repair such fractures. So last but not least, the defects from heat implant is implant loosening from the bone. So the solution is the more advanced the surgeon should be, the lower his or her error rate. Means that the patient needs a experienced and advanced surgeon to operate the surgeries. So that's all from me. Thank you.